Now we talked about some of the external forces the Knicks will be facing this offseason, like trades and free agency. But let's talk about some of the internal issues that the Knicks are going to have to come to grips with, and we'll see which direction they take. One is Julius Randle's contract, upcoming extension for this season, and also Mitchell Robinson's extension situation. How the Knicks are going to play that out. First, I want to start off with Mitchell Robinson. Of course, the Knicks have him on a great deal. It's only $1.8 million for a year. They can either let him hit restricted free agency this offseason, in which they'll be able to match. Now, this could work out well if the Knicks are able to pull off a trade and perhaps get a max deal guy like Damian Lillard. This is just an example. Or they go after another big name player that's going to take a lot of cap. Then even though that superstar play takes up a lot of cap space and won't matter because the Knicks are allowed this offseason to go over the cap and re-sign Mitchell Robinson. So this scenario would only apply to this offseason because Mitchell Robinson is a restricted free agent. It wouldn't apply next year because he would be an unrestricted free agent. So we would not be allowed to go over the cap next year. So keep that in mind. The only thing with Mitchell Robinson is very difficult to evaluate how valuable is he? Because this season he was injured in and out the roster and his replacement that we got on a one-year deal was able to almost duplicate the production that he will provide. So I'm wondering how much money he'll be asking for. And in today's NBA, it's not that hard to find a center that can at least give you decent minutes to protect the rim for about 25 minutes a game plus. It's not that difficult and it doesn't cost as much money. So that's one thing that Knicks fans should be looking at and it might be a cause for concern. And I'll also say this about Mitchell Robinson. He shoots about 56% from the free throw line. And I know he stated a few times that he wants to shoot three pointers, that he wants the Knicks to let him play his game, but it's hard for them to run plays to let him shoot three pointers when he's shooting that type of percentage just from free throws and also how much is a center worth where his game mostly relies on alley hoops and just a point guard setting him up in his position it's not like mitchell robinson has a mean front facing game where he could post you up and he could take a hook shot or he has a mean off the glass turnaround jumper his front facing game isn't that good so what is his real value in the marketplace that's something that a lot of Knicks fans have to really think about. And I'm wondering how Leon Rose will approach this, especially due to the fact that he was able to successfully replace Mitchell Robinson's production this year in a one year signing with Nerland's Noel.